Sorry, cut out. Um, somebody was calling. That's another thing. I'm always, somebody's always calling. Somebody always needs something, you know. But that's boss life. And I like it. I love it. But anyway, um, the family I have now, the, my new family that was my new additions, shall I say, my new additions. I love these people. When I tell you I love them, but these is some party and jokers here. Boy, when I tell you, if somebody sneezed, they going to have a party. If somebody pooted, they going to have a party. When you come over to the house, you got to take a shot. There are some exceptions, you know. But for the most part, they celebrate everything. Everything. And I love it. I love it. You know, not to say my old family, what my, not old family, that's so wrong to say it like that. Not to say my family, my blood family doesn't, but I was raised different from how they were raised, you know? So it is a lot different, but I love, love, love these people. When they say family over everything, they mean it. You know, they really mean it. Um, they come together, you know for anything we don't have so many surprise birthday parties for the month of september i was so glad to see october i ain't know what to do but i love it but i i'm like damn i can't lose no weight because every time i turn around i want to go partying with y'all you know not that it's their fault that i can't control myself but i love them people i really do there is is nothing you know i wouldn't do for them just like i wouldn't do for my own family y'all see all these medicines Ah, oh, that little brown one. I like that one. That's that's my Zarelto. Got to take that blood thinner, baby. But anyway, I love my people. I love my family. Those my peeps. Um, like, there's nothing I can really say bad about them. Other than they party for everything. Oh, you got gas. Let's have a party. Yeah. <laughs> so, or, oh, you know, so-and-so is going off to school. Let's eat some dinner, which is a good thing. You know, you're supposed to have dinner. But we eat a lot. So, at, you know, even during the pandemic, we still been getting together. We, we you know, of course, practice social distancing as much as possible. But, you know, it's not always necessary to do so much of everything. Um... They like to hang out at my house or anybody's house. We hang out at everybody's house. We just have fun together, and it's just us, and it's just love all the time. And it really taught me the stroke and being here out of um, my comfort zone was Florida. You know, I thought that I'd never leave Florida. But being out of Florida... I'm so much more relaxed. Y'all have no idea. Um, and I said that to say this. Sometimes God will make you uncomfortable to get you comfortable. And I have been the most comfortable I have ever been with these people. Um, it taught me a lot. Because up until maybe I'd say about three years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. I really didn't tell my family I love you all the time. You know, I would say it, you know, but that was like at a funeral because, you know, we, you know, people don't, I ain't going to shade it or nothing, but uh, we don't really get together a lot of us until there's a funeral or there's a sad occasion when we need to try to get together more. But after being around such love, I can tell anybody I love them and mean it. I done got cussed out before, and I'd be like, you know what? I love you. You know, how can you not love somebody that's got a problem, you know, because you want God to do something for them. So whatever it is that's causing them to be so miserable, you know, he'll bless them, and, and you know, they'll do something for them. Because I can remember just being at a point in my life, if me and you were cussing and carrying on and, and fighting or arguing or whatever, it was whatever. Now, you know, love has really been proven to conquer all. So, but anyway, um, back to my Florida trip. 
I'm going to Florida and I'm going to my niece's birthday party. Now they're supposed to have an Indian theme. Of course, I don't have my Indian dress yet. I think my sister has something for me to wear that she said only her friend um, made. And thank you. I appreciate it. And um, it's going to really be cute, y'all. We're going to get together and um, throw this little Indian theme. I, I guess the little uh, girl, Mari, the inspector or something. I might be saying it wrong. But um, that's the theme that they're going for. I can't wait. Because I'm going to put on my little clothes. And we're going to have my niece little party party. And I get to see my mama. Yeah. Get to see my mama. Y'all got to cherish y'all parents while y'all got them. Lord. I miss my daddy, but... Mama's been fun lately. Anyway. I'm going to holler probably when I get to the airport tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'm going to talk to y'all again. But I'm probably when I get to the airport because I'm quite sure it'll be something interesting going on in there. Um, And as usual, if you haven't liked, share, comment, please tell somebody about my page so they can start talking to me. Because I want, you know, more comments, so... I can find some more content. Of course, you know, I haven't been able to do as many videos as I wanted to. But you still can go on to my Instagram. And I still have my videos, my cooking show videos with my sister, Z. Cooking with Z. Um, with Life Kitchen Skills. So you guys go over, run over to Instagram to Rare Breed 429 And subscribe. And watch those Instagram TVs. I'm on there. And um, invite your friends and everybody to like my page because this is this is gonna stay raw and uncut. I'm not gonna be editing and carrying on. I might do a couple of edits that are like like when somebody called me earlier. I'm gonna have to edit that and you know put the videos together. But other than that, this is gonna be what it is. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Mwah.